Hello, welcome to a new edition of CMTV. I'm Diego Campo, Director at Latin America and Sector Specialty for Heavy Industries. We recently published a commentary on the potential impact of a power rationing in the Brazilian corporate sector. Chances for a power rationing in Brazil are high because uh, rainfalls are still very low compared to normal levels. Um, our estimations uh, signal that a potential um, rationing could occur between May and November, if occurs. And, uh, and our estimations also are in line with a 10% power reduction, which means that it will be something uh, manageable for the corporate sector as a whole. And that's it mainly because uh, thermal generation and biomass and other uh, sources for generation are uh, higher than in the past. We based also our judgment in understanding what happened in 2001 and 2002 where the, uh, the prior crisis, uh, uh, power crisis occurred. Chances for water rationalization are also increasing, uh, mainly affecting the states of Sao Paulo, Minas Gerais and Rio de Janeiro. Uh, but, the, but the potential impact and, uh, and how long that will it take, uh, it is harder to assess. But we believe that uh, companies are also well prepared to face such a, a potential rationing. Uh, we say that because um, those sectors that are usually more power intense, such as uh, pulp and paper, steel and mining, uh, they achieve a high uh, reuse of water um, uh, supply. Um, going back to the power rationalization scenario, um, we, we identify four sectors as being the, more, the most vulnerable to such a power rationalization. Those are um, cement, uh, um, uh, steel, mining and petrochemicals. Uh, regarding the cement, uh, we basically uh, uh, rate two companies, Votorantim and Intercement. Uh, both have uh, a high self-sufficiency ratio. Obviously, a reduction in demand will affect them, but still we believe that would be something manageable. Uh, on the petrochemical side, uh, we believe uh, PV PVC products of Braschem may be uh, also uh, replace in part with other products that are less intense in, in power usage. Uh, and, and also the company has some other uh, measures that it can take uh, to buffer such a, a rationing. Uh, but still the, a, a potential uh, uh, decline in demand due to uh, poor economic growth uh, will affect the company. Um, regarding the steel uh, producers, um, the three of, the, of them that we rate, uh, CSN, Usimina, and Gardao, they all have some level of self-sufficiency, uh, mainly C C CSN is the higher one with uh, 60 percent, um, Usimina is 25 and, uh, and Gardao around 10 percent. Uh, all of them cover the rest of the power needs with uh, long-term PPAs. Um, and some, some of them are uh, contracted uh, well above their, their actual needs, so uh, if a rationalization occurs, uh, they may be also covered by that. Um, we estimate that uh, if there is a shrink in demand, um, it, may, it, may, it may hit um, EBITDA levels in 2015, um, not above uh, 10 percent, so the, the level of uh, of damage will also be very low. For mining companies, um, we basically focus our analysis in Vale and San Marco. Vale um, has uh, almost 50% of its power needs secure, and, uh, and we need that it may be um, under stress in, their, uh, in its uh, south and southeast uh, operations. Um, all in, uh, we believe that uh, a potential impact may hurt uh, no more than 3% of our base case EBITDA for the company this year. So um, that is very low in terms of, uh, credit, uh, of, of a credit impact. Uh, San Marco will be the same case because the company, uh, although pelletizing is very high intense in power, uh, the company has secured thermal sources 
um, uh, for for this year as well. So no 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 risks, no major risks there uh, as well. Um, Th those are our main impressions on, on, on the situation. Uh, we believe, uh, obviously, that uh, these assumptions and, and, uh, and uh, potential impact estimations are preliminary and based in our uh, hypothetical scenario. So uh, they are subject to revision if the situation changes. You can find the article in our website and other articles related to the subject. Thank you for watching and see you in the next CMTV edition.